Operation Run Aground, Britain's biggest invasion exercise since the war, is successfully launched on the south coast as Royal Marine frogmen, powerfully supported by jet fighters, destroy beach defences. The frogmen had swum ashore to lay the charges, set to explode days later. And then, at zero hour, the assault craft lying offshore close in. And soon, Korean veterans, men of the 1st Battalion, the Gloucestershire Regiment, are clambering ashore and gaining the initial foothold. The immediate objectives achieved, now come the LCTs, carrying the specialised armour, including flail tanks to explode enemy-laid minefields. And to consolidate the hard-won beachhead, heavy armour lands, centurion tanks manned by the 4th Queen's Own Hussars, while a crocodile's flamethrower quickly liquidates an enemy strongpoint. Helicopters bring from ship to shore more assault troops to bolster local attacks. Meanwhile, in the nearby Isle of Wight, commandos demonstrate a night attack on a rocky coastline using rocket-fired grappling irons. Watched by civilian and military experts, the invaders quickly scale the 200-foot ascent. The climbing operation, spider-like in appearance, shows the speed and assurance of the Royal Marines in this very tricky manoeuvre. Having fulfilled their mission, the commanders make an equally speedy descent to their waiting craft and can even bring their wounded out to safety. As ever, the Royal Marines handle cliff climbing with their noted parade ground skill and efficiency.